Hi guys, thanks for joining me and welcome to the Mums and Makery Autumn Fair Part 1. This is a, <laughs> this is a two-prong attack. <laughs> The, obviously, we've got part one uh, for you uh, now, and then part two will be coming at 3 p.m. That's UK time. So, as always, I'm just going to chat a little bit whilst people find the feeds and get themselves situated with their uh, uh, cups of tea and their snacks. Notice that I am cakeless today. That's because she's got the cake. She, of course, being the ever lovely Pixie B, aka Flingo Face. Yeah, you're not getting away from it, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> so she is uh, manning the uh, the battle station. So to, I, I need to fiddle with this mic. Hang on. I'm, this is this is a new mic, and it's it's weird. <laughs> I feel like Madonna. <laughs> So what we've got for you today is a load of autumnally goodness and um, we do have some new projects and I know that a lot of you are eyeballs about everywhere. Um, let me just sort that out. I forgot to do that before I went live. She forgot to remind me. <laughs> oh, the fair, I'm getting daggers now. So what we're going to do is um, inherently or uh, previously, we used to do the Flingo at the start of broadcast number one. So what we've done now is we have moved Flingo into the second half. And what that means is that a lot of our international fluff friends will be able to join in because I know some of them join in part one, but it's like, what, two o'clock in the morning for some of them. So hi, guys. <laughs> Hello across the interwebs. We should be coming to you live across YouTube and Facebook. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through the event bag. Now, you don't need the event bag um, to join in all of the makes. And you don't need the event bag to, um, to take part in all of the giveaways. If you go over to our Facebook group, you will find that there are a lot of pixie giveaways. And each one is uh, a different sort of theme. And then there's a link that you have to kind of register for. It saves the pixies having to count. Um, I should have done this earlier. I should have opened my bag. <laughs> See, it says my bag on it. Because sometimes the pixies, sticky fingers. She's, sort of what I? On the, oh, my, bir hang on, let me work, there we go. The birthday wreath. Um, it was made for me by the pixies and crew and helpers and, and everybody, and I'm just, so happy it's awesome it was actually done or the mushrooms that you see there uh, were based um, because all the pixies went on lady moth mushroom course so if you um, if you didn't see our making the cute caterpillar makery takeover with the lady moth that's worth checking out and there's lots of links there for her website and her courses uh, do check them out they are totally awesome so probably helps if you see that there are two um, different types of event kits. There's the standard kit and then there's the with extras. I'm going to quickly run through the with extras. And uh, let's see if I can get an intro. Look at the goodies in there. So we've got kit number one. And if you've got the with extras, you'll have a surprise kit. We've got the event accessory pack. This one is kit number two. I can't wait to show you that one. And then also in here, you've got a, a lovely hot chockey powder. So you can have yourself a nice autumny drink whilst we're uh, doing the show. There is a fluff tube. You've got a fluff tube in there and in the fluff tube, Dun, dun, dun. There is, uh, hang on. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You've got a couple of um, fluff tags so that you can um, staple a bit of this onto a tag. And then in here, you've got 25 grams 
of a brand new blend that we are launching today, which is called Blaze. And I will get to the new projects uh, in just a moment. So you've got your fluff tube. And of course, I'm surprised my sweets survived actually. You've got some toffees as well. And it does tell you on the toffee um, what flavor they are. So that's all the goodies that are in the event bag. Now for this show, um, you're gonna want kit number one. And in the second show, we will be using kit number two. Now there is a template in here and we will get to that in just a minute as well. I just sort myself out. I'm really surprised that you lot didn't see the toffees. <laughs> I have to buy about 12 kilo of, of any kind of candy because about only two kilos of it makes it into the event bags and the other 10 kilos gets eaten by the pixies. They think I don't know. So, right, let me sort myself out. Let's pop that down there a minute. Okay, so um, let's go through the accessories pack. And... I really should have opened all of these, shouldn't I? <laughs> so this is the accessories pack, and the contents may be a little confusing. However, you've got some brown string, and you've got some glue. My favorite thing in the world. <laughs> you've got uh, a little leafy, gold leafy lapel pin. You've got a couple of balloons. And there are some string lights and the battery for said string lights. It's a whopper of a, uh, an accessories pack. Now, I'll quickly run through um, what that makes, maybe a little bit later on. But that is for some, obviously you can use it for whatever you want. But we ha there is a plan. There is a method to our madness. And this combined with the um, surprise kit. In fact, actually, we could, I could show you now what that makes. Do a bit of a reveal. So if you've got the with extras, the accessory pack, plus the surprise pack, and this is what's in your surprise pack, well, let me put it on the overhead. So you've got all of this fluff. You've got some brown florist tape. Oh, a bit more fluff. You've got some 20 gauge wires. And you've also got a template in, and that's all in the surprise pack. So you've only got this if you've got the with extras. Now, can you guess what it is yet? Can you guess what it is yet? Let me grab this from down here. I will move this out of the way. So that surprise kit makes these damson or this little damson cluster. I think that's too far away. Let me put me back on the overhead. Check that out. Now there will be a PDF coming on the website and um, that will show you step by step how to make these this lovely damson cluster. The surprise kit, um, we don't get chance to make live on air, but there, we've PDF'd everything. I think the Pixies have now taken to PDFing everything because I just make a mockery of whatever it is I'm trying to make. <laughs> shut, shut, yep, bat sheep pig. So your surprise kit makes this. Now that, coupled with most of what's in there, let me move this out of the way. I have to be very gentle with this. Makes this. And I'm hoping that that will, look at this. You can f I, I have filmed how to make this gluey ball of destruction. <laughs> but um, you will find... Oh, let me bring that back. You will find that there are lots of tutorials on YouTube. Um, I had a bit of a faux pas um, 
obviously I did. There was glue involved. And I, I filmed the first half, there we go, with the lights. And I've added a little string there. So that's what you can make with the surprise kit and accessories kit combined. The accessory kit lets you make that string ball. In fact, I think you've got enough to make two string balls if memory serves. And that's what the balloons are for and the glue as well. And then those string lights just sit in there so beautifully. And there we go. Let me pop that. Yeah. <laughs> stay so that's an absolutely gorgeous make and as i said the pdf for how to make the damsons will be on our website under the projects infos and downloads link and that will be after the end of the show because i haven't put it up there yet obviously because it would give the surprise away so that's your surprise kit and your accessories pack the little lapel pin that's in there that's for you you could put a leaf on it you could put a flower on it you could do whatever you want with it that's just a little something extra in there for you as well so when i made when i videoed the string balls i videoed the first half and then went, oh, these are lovely, and popped the balloons and did, took them out and, and completely forgot to film the second half of it. <laughs> so I'm a Muppet. So that's what we're going to be, or that's what you can make with that kit. And also in the PDF, it's going to show you how to make this. And this is obviously on that lovely pencil case, jute pencil case that's included in the kit. So there's two, two different things that you can do with that. Now, I know some of you are very excited to see uh, what new products that we've got coming out. So I'm going to quickly run through the new things and then we're going to hop straight in and start with our first make. So it is autumn. And I would be remiss if I didn't bring out a leaf template. And for this year, what I decided to do was do the Northern Red Oak. Oak is one of my absolute favourites. And the Red Oak, it's got such a lovely shape to it. It's a bit, it's a bit spikier and it's, you know, it's, it's a bit more sort of pointy than um, the oak leaf set that we've currently got. And the template set comes in three different sizes. So... That is um, a 50 mil, sorry, no, a 60 mil, an 80 mil, and a 100 mil size. Got me bag of bits now. I couldn't find it. <laughs> so here are the templates, as you can see. Let's just pop that. There you can see. So you've got your, your 60 mil, your 80 mil, and your 100 mil. And these are not carbon copies um, of each other. So you've got a lot of diversity for the templates as well. And here are those. You can see they've been done like so. So that's the uh, the northern red oak. And how about this for such a simple, lovely, lovely project? Just a glass case with a single leaf. What a beautiful autumnal gift that would make. Or indeed, um, home decor. Um, lots and lots of lovely ideas with that template. I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, what colours and stuff you guys do. Um, so the second thing that we've got new for you, it's a new fern. Now, I know many of you now are running for the hills. <laughs> Not another fern. <laughs> but this one is, uh, it's particularly lovely. It's larger, it's sort of more open than our original fern. And it's a little bit easier to work with because you've got much more overlap in the center. So it's a really, really good size, as you can see. I think, I want to say, but I'm going to check. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's about 15 and a half centimeters um, from bottom to top. So it's a really, really good size fern. And of course, as with the other fern, you can put it in increments so you know you you can use uh where's the little one there it is so you can use them or you can use the template in 
you know, different increments of the template, like so. And obviously, we'll get some weights and measures up. Just give me a day or so to get the weights and measures up on the website. You know, we've got um, we've got quite a lot. <laughs> we've got quite a lot on. <laughs> and look at this. Look at this little loveliness. Little bit of driftwood. Little mouse peeking out. It's going to snaffle that acorn. And again, just using that fern leaf just gives you a really nice... Could, um, I can almost see sort of like a little creature holding a big fern leaf. You're not having it. <laughs> she, no, you're not having it. She's there, she's like, please. No, you can't. You'll have to fight the other pixies for it. And I don't fancy your chances, mate. You're on crutches. <laughs> So, you know, just adding little elements, having one of your little creatures holding a fern leaf, perhaps sheltering them for, from the rain. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful leaf to work with. So that's the fern. I did, as you saw um, in the... Um, <laughs> it all come unraveled. <laughs> Be like me today, actually. Um, this thing keeps hitting me in the face. <laughs> Every time I turn, I'm obviously too animated. I have to be more stoic. Because every time I turn around, this thing goes, whop. <laughs> so if you guys are hearing random thuds, don't worry. It's just the microphone. <laughs> um, as I said, with your, um, in your, if you do have the kit, you have this lovely uh, blaze. And um, in the blaze, it is a custom blend. It is somewhat limited. We, we don't have endless supplies of it, but we've got a fair old chunk of it at the moment. We do it in the 50 gram bats. Then it, look, it does, look. It depends on which way, which angle you put him, but he can go from lovely to really grumpy. <laughs> look, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. And made, obviously, with the blaze, the blaze wall, and and he's on. This is a candlestick um, mounting method. Let me sh actually put it on the overhead. That's probably easier. So there's your candlestick. It's one of those, and then inside, we've just made a cone. It's a very solid cone. And that fits into the candlestick. And it's, it's a very quick and simple mounting method. And yeah, it's effective, really, really effective. Obviously, we've in the feathers here, that's our pointy feather set. And his little crown feathers there, the pointy feather set as well. We've got some locks there. But what an amazing piece. And that color. That blaze colour just really, really coming through with it. Let me pop that over there. And I know some of you have spotted it. If you remember last year, we did, uh, I had a little um, tree stump on the set with me, which had my needles in it. And everybody said how lovely it was. So what we've done is we've designed a template or a template set, which will allow you to make these tree stumps. And again, there's a PDF. All of these products, I will point out, will go live after the second show has concluded. So um, you don't have to worry for time at the moment, but look at that. There is a PDF, as I mentioned. There's one version there. We've got another one here. And this one is Clever Lily. Clever Lily? Is that a word? This one's been clever. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that whole word saying thing. I had a bit of a disaster with a word the other day and I just couldn't say it. So what this one is as used um, is one of those kind of photo clips. So you could actually, you could use it as a placeholder or like a name placeholder. You could use it for a little photo. You know, it's just such a lovely piece. And obviously this uh, grass has been made using the grass template. I've got another one over here for you. It's lovely to see just how different they all come out. Look at that one's got a little snail on it as well. So like I said, there will be 
uh, a PDF and there's the original. So these are sort of slimmer, but once you've got that basic shape, you can build it up as much as you like. So tree stumps, that's a new one for you. Oh, and I do feel that I have to point out this one as well. <laughs> Look at this one. This one's been, obviously it's exactly the same. The tree stump has been built up, uh, I think double, uh, the double height. And then um, the roof has been made using the VersaTangle, um, which, is, which is very versatile. So look at that. And you see, oh, see the sign, but beware of the pixies. <laughs> which you really do have to around here, to be fair. So there we go. And of course, I think there's one more thing, isn't there? Am I forgetting something, B? She's like, don't you forget that. <laughs> we are launching a new pack of Pixie Shimmers. And the Christmas edition was such, uh, such a, a joy. And they're just such lovely colours that we decided to make um, an autumn, autumn splendour shimmer pack. And voila. It really, I don't think the cameras will, will do it justice but there so we've got this green here which will go lovely in our autumn green i don't know what i would call this color it's it's sort of right on that red pink kind of line and so i think it would work lovely in our hot pink i also think it would work really nice maybe in a bit of cranberry if you wanted to lighten it up and have some highlights then we've got this lovely gold color which works with the autumn gold and of course, this gorgeous burnt orange. Um, I think it would look nice in pumpkin as well. Or indeed, with the blaze. Uh, and then finally, we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous brown here, which is for the, which will work very well with your warm brown colour. Um, so you get five grams of each of the five colours. And when we blend, this is the same shimmer that goes into uh, frost. And we usually blend it at a 10% ratio. So um, five grams would, do uh, would blend into 50 grams of wool. Obviously, this doesn't felt so well. So you've got to have that carrier. You can't use this. And whatever you do, please do not iron directly onto this. It will melt your iron. We found that out. <laughs> <laughs> we test everything <laughs> so um but obviously if you wanted more of a shimmer then you could do you know a 20 uh, percent ratio it, having the pack like this does mean that you can blend it in whatever way you want to get the to you know to achieve the result that you want to get so is that all the products we can make something now. So um, on the web, let me put this away first, though. Um, otherwise, it will be catastrophe. So um, what, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the make for kit number one. And despite the fact that we're going to be making little acorns. And I've got some here. And these have been um, glued into um, like proper acorn caps. It's not focusing, but you can probably see it. Um, however, the p there will be a PDF. <laughs> PDF saved my life now. Um, so after the second show, there will be a PDF going live um, for the acorns. And it's going to show you how to make these um, very quick little autumn -y makes. And, you know, they look great. It's a little key ring, a little cluster. Put them with um, the oak leaves to make sort of a, a, a spray. Um, this is all of the wool that you get in kit number one. So we've got some gorgeous colours. Uh, we're going to be using... Uh, warm no that's warm brown this is dark brown and we're going to be using that to make the cap and then obviously all of this other lovely colored wool is for um just making a whole bunch 
of different colored acorns. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to get myself uh, a set up here in a minute. Now, if you are just joining us for the first time, um, or you are new to Felton, you'll see me using this a lot in a lot of my videos and stuff, and it's called a pocket scale. There is a link to it on our website, and that's under projects, infos, and downloads. And then there is a, a sort of a sub menu that says weights and measures. And if you click that, then um, you'll get a link for the pocket scale that I use. But they are um, all about the web. If you just type in pocket scale on Amazon or eBay, um, you will come up with um, lots of versions of this. Now, the reason that we use a pocket scale is so that we can weigh out very small increments of wool. For example, to make the cap for this acorn, we're going to be using 0.2 of a gram to make the, um, the acorn sort of body. We're going to be using one gram. And weighing things out, particularly when you're using a template, for example, you weigh out 0.5 of a gram, for example, and then you want to make another petal, you weigh another 0.5 of a gram, and you know that the shape is consistent and your weight of wool is consistent, so you won't end up with um, sort of varying ranges of petals. They're going to be a nice, fairly consistent um, shape and size. So, what I'm going to do, as you can see here, is I'm just going to weigh out, see that's 0.15, that's close enough, so 0.2 of a gram, and to make the cap, you're going to want a circle that is about two and a half centimetres. Now, you, there are varying things. The PDF shows you, uh, I think we're using the inside of a sellotape. This is the largest circle from the Skulls template set, and that's um, 2.5 mil. This is the all sorts um, circle, and um, that's a little bit smaller. But obviously, your acorns are going to be different sizes. Um, here we've got um, a pair of scissors that has a, a fairly circular handle to them, and it's about the right size. So, you know, you can find yourself all kinds of things. And the weights and measures, they're just a jumping off point. They're not going, you know, they're not set in stone. If you want to make a bigger acorn, make a bigger one. So with this sort of size of circle, I'm just going to stuff. You use whatever you've got to hand. And then I'm using my, this perhaps isn't the best choice of colour. <laughs> it's very dark. Um, because of the size and the amount of wool, you can just stuff it all in. And then we're going to felt down. I'm using my 38 spiral, so it's sort of my medium felting needle. But I'm just starting to get all of those fibres in. And just get that size. I'm using my flat mat, so I can really feel that when my needle touches that flat mat, I stop. And that's going to significantly reduce your fluffy bottoms. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's a fluffy bottom in every broadcast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to skip up to my 36 star, which is a, a much more aggressive needle. And again, just going through to that flat mat, I'm not driving round and round and round she goes and you're going to want to firm this up really well so i'm going to skip over to my multi-needle now this is um in fact i can tell you we're actually giving away um one of these multi-handles um today i think it's a raff one of the raffle prizes so round and round, give it a bit of a wiggle so it doesn't stick to my mat, I'm going to turn it over, felt it some more, this really hasn't come out very well because I'm in a dark template and I'm using dark brown but you guys get the idea. So we've got a nice little, so I mean this isn't firm enough, 
but let me just go around that a little more. And flip it over again. It's starting to really firm up now because it's sticking to my needles. <laughs> there we go. So we've got this nice little, nice little disc and you can go ahead and firm that up a little bit more if you want, but I'm going to just stick with that. Let's choose the brightest colour we've got and then hopefully you'll be able to see it better on camera. So now what I'm going to do is using my pocket scale is I'm going to weigh myself out one gram. Is it one gram? Yes. That would make quite... Um, so what I would suggest is make one at the weights we give you and then you think, oh, no, that's a bit big. I want to make smaller ones and then reduce, obviously, um, ooh, reduce the sort of size. <sighs> There's no real way of, of specifically doing this. We're in, we want an acorn shape, so it's going to be slightly tapered and nicely rounded. I start by folding and... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll up. Now that's probably a little wide. Let me roll it over again. And so I've got roughly, I'm going to pull a little bit off just to give myself a, a pinch in case I need to add some in. And I'm just going to start, oh, no, it's all unraveled. Well done. Let me grab my needle. So I'm just going to felt that down just a smidge. And that will help hold it in, in place. And then I'm going to roll that up. This may be completely differently to the way that we do it in the PDF. But as I am so fond of saying, there's no real wrong way. There's just different ways. As long as you get the shape at the end of it, then you know, you're good. And I'm just going to start, I'm folding it over, moving it round, and just starting to get those fibres held together. Now, a rule of uh, sort of thumb is that the wool will go the way you point the needle. So if I want to sort of compact my wool that way, then I would point my needle that way and can you see what's happening I'm going in sort of a flat edge there I'm using my 38 spiral so again that middle of the road if you feel that it's felting too quickly for you and you're not having enough time to work with the wool then go up to a 40 spiral or one of the thinner needles and you'll find that that will work a lot better for you you'll get more time to work with the wool so I'm just sort of making my my acorn shape and this will take a little bit of time to felt down. So I'm going to go up to my 36 star. And when you're doing anything that's 3D, you always felt to the middle of the project. You don't want to be felting and coming out the other side. Otherwise, you will end up with that um, fluffy bottom. So I'm just going through to the middle. You can see I'm using my finger as a sort of stop. You have a face, Pixie B. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Let's let's talk about giveaways and prizes. <laughs> so um, over in our Facebook group. Um, so our Facebook group, that's www.facebook.com slash groups slash mums makery. Um, if you're not already in the group, do head over and and join up. There are some entry questions. It's sort of, you know, how did you hear of us? And the, the, the crazy lady on the telly is an appropriate answer, apparently. People know me so well. <laughs> so each of the Pixies have a giveaway. Uh, Pixie Haley's give. I'm going to put Pixie B on the spot now because I don't think she knows what the giveaways are. Oh. No, she doesn't. Uh, Pixie Haley's giveaway is uh, an inspirational image, I think. Then we've got Pixie Nikki's giveaway, which I believe is share an inspirational quote. And um, 
if memory, th I can't remember what the crew are doing. I think the crew are having a dance party, aren't they? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be, I, I need notes, B. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> She's, she's sacked. She's just, she's not prepared at all. She's only come for the cake. So, um, and oh, also don't forget that there will be coming live in the middle of the broadcast. So in between the both of the broadcasts, I am of course doing my boss bonus giveaway. Um, and I can't remember what that is either. I think it's a pillar fight. We had a snowball fight for Christmas in June and I think we're starting a pillar fight now. <laughs> <laughs> everything's just whatever you can throw at somebody it's, it's fine um there is a link on each of the pixie giveaways now that link is exactly the same and you only need to sign up for the giveaways once um so if you click that link um i think you put in your email um that registers you for the uh, for all of the giveaways including the boss bonus giveaway for all of them and then um when we do the draw uh, one winner will be picked for each of the giveaways. We will confirm, obviously, that you have posted your comment under the various giveaways um, in the group. And then you win your prize. And it's going to be um, some pixies choose the, the fluff. There's going to be fluff, much fluff. <laughs> there is much fluff around here at the moment. So I'm still carrying on working on my, um, my acorn. And I didn't have one, what I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually got to make this. Mine's um it's quite a sturdy acorn, if I if I do say so myself. Oh yes, let's do that. Just gives me a gives me a chance to figure out what I'm doing with that. <laughs> I think it look I don't know. It's it's not going well, B. It'll be fine. <laughs> I do find that making whilst chatting and presenting and trying to keep her from stealing everything, um, it's quite the um, it's quite the adventure. So let me. I just want to get this to. It looks more strawberry than acorn. <laughs> Fruit and nut. There you go. I'm going to leave that for a minute. Right. So we do have, um, check this out. I know some of you have probably already seen it. Um, and I'm going to leave you that picture for a second whilst I rearrange everything so that I'm in a position to move the wreath <laughs> and not have it go plummeting off of the front. This is, as some of you may know, we do a sponsored make a few times a year. And ah. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, there we go. We're all we're, we're back. Let me put you on the closer camera. Look at this. Have a have a look at that. The detail and the work that has gone into this. I mean, there's a hydrangea, and that's no small feat. This was made by the ever lovely Sandra McIntyre and when we approached her for, she did a wreath in group, and when we approached her, um, we were, we, we, not that we like to um, direct, let me see, look at this, so I'll just put it on the up, up camera, there we go. So, um, when we approached her, we sort of said, you know, you did such a lovely wreath, would you like to make an autumn one for us as a sponsored make? But we've got beech leaves in there. We've got uh, sycamores. We've got oak. We've got these. Let me just skip back over here a minute. These are the daisy leaves. She's put a conker there. We've got the hydrangea. Uh, where are we? Round here. I have no idea what leaf that is. <laughs> um, and look at these berries. And I've <laughs> hit the thing off again. And then we've got the acorns at the bottom, and I believe that the mushrooms were made using the um, the Versa Tangle as well. And it's all mounted on this beautiful wreath. And I'll just show you the back as well. Look at that. 
so lovely which i from the feel of it seems to be a wire ring um that has been um felted had round i can feel a couple of wires in there so i think it's me plums plummeted <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that's just a silly tickle bit. No. <clears throat> <laughs> it's really bad because she's pulling phases and you can't see it. And it's very off putting, Pixie B. We're professionals. I'm going back to my acorn looking strawberry, or my strawberry looking acorn. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness, right, so yes, sponsored me. Let me just put the picture um, back up for you. Um, it is just such an absolutely gorgeous make and Sandra, um, you're not getting it back. <laughs> There's already been squabbles. There's already been squabbles over, um, over it and Pixie B almost ran off with it the other day. You can, you can sit there looking all innocent, Miss B. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth out that surface a little bit. And I would probably want to felt this down a little bit more. How am I doing for time, Pixie B? Am I? Okay, that's good. Okie dokie. Speed. <laughs> I have the need for speed. Speed felting. <laughs> yes, I can certainly do that. Um, so as Pixie B uh, has just reminded me, um, I was supposed to do it at the end of, where are we? August. Um, I forgot. The <laughs> there are some spring, uh, I think it's the daff, the crocus, the cherry blossom, uh, and there's a couple of others. Um, those projects are also going to become seasonal. Um, basically, I'm running out of room in the makery to stock everything all year round. So what we're going to do is make some of the projects more seasonal to fit with, you know, the you know daffodils will be spring. Um, so they will, they're not disappearing, they're not discontinued, and all of the tutorials will still be available 24-7, 365 days. You don't have to worry. You're not going to lose uh, access to your tutorials or anything like that. But it's just we're going to only stock those products in our main shop um, more seasonally, a bit like the Christmas stuff. Um, which, um, speaking of stuff, dates... Uh, oh, so, hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so the spring stuff that will be disappearing, I will keep until the end of tomorrow and then I will remove it. Um, so if you were looking for uh, anything there, pop it in your basket this weekend um, because after tomorrow there will be, I think there's about half a dozen things that will be uh, disappearing off the website temporarily. They will, of course, be back. But if you've got any questions, uh, just email or send a message to myself or one of the pixies and we'll make sure that you're all sorted out. So uh, a couple of dates for your diary. The uh, next uh, craft noon uh, will be on September the 25th and that's 3 p.m. UK time and we will be making a hedge hug. It's going to be cool. The um, the focus of the craft afternoon is actually going to be on um, how to make um, those lovely hedgehog spines. In fact, let me just get, this is not what we're making. <laughs> I'm just going to point that out. <laughs> but have a look at him. Isn't he so sweet? Look at his little face. But there is a fabric that you can use. Um, which gives a lovely sort of hedgehog effect. Um, oh, you're down there. Hi. <laughs> um, but we're going to be showing you how to make um, the spines because if you if you don't have the fabric, or if um, you know, or if you just want to do to do it a little bit more manually, um, you absolutely can. Yes, there's glue involved. <laughs> Stop. 
splendid. <laughs> I warned her, I said, September's a really gluey month for me. <laughs> we had, what did I, what were we gluing last time? There wasn't glue with the lazy moth, thank goodness. What were we glue? Oh, I was gluing on, on the craft store. But I got to the part where I was just about to, I exclude a couple of things in, in readiness for my demonstration on how to assemble these birthday things on a, on a pre-made card. And they ran out of time, so I was like, Joss, <laughs> I was going to glue. <laughs> but no, we are going to be concentrating. Mainly, it's more about how, how we're going to make these, um, these sort of little prickles and things. So let me put him back up there. And um, I don't get them down because they've plummeted about four times already. But we've got the pine cone pixies. Hmm? That's what we were gluing. That's what we, yes, that's what we were gluing was the pine cone pixies. <laughs> and then we got turned into a comic strip. <laughs> In group, somebody uh, who will remain nameless, <coughs> Sarah and <coughs> Irene, um, decided to take screenshots of B and I trying to glue things. Um, and then Irene captioned them. So thanks for that, mate. <laughs> it's good to know we have support and help. <laughs> but yes, the pinecone pixies, uh, they are such a great fab fun make. You can get the kids hunting pine cones for you. Um, you can do them with any kind of leaf, any kind of size. It's absolutely such a great project. I did the hair really well on mine. Anyway, right, back to um, dates. That's what we were doing. Um, later on, are we in September? Yes, we are in September. So uh, the lovely Sarah Brown from the original Needle Felting UK. Um, I don't know if you guys um, remember, but we did the spring festival with her back in, I want to say sort of March, April time, I think it was. And we made... Uh, fluffs, funny little unidentified, unidentified, <laughs> it was going so well, funny little unidentified fluffy fellows, and now uh, for the autumn festival, um, which is on the 18th of September, and we are on at, you're lucky you've got a really black, 10 a.m., this is your job. This is why I pay you. <laughs> no, I don't have to give you the info. You're supposed to be all knowing. <laughs> um, yeah, 10 o'clock, I believe we are. And we are, we are kicking off the festival for you guys at, um, at 10 a.m. And that will be on the festival's Facebook group. We'll find links. The Pixies will put links in. Pixies will put links in chats for you. We will also there's a we'll put a link in our Facebook group as well. Um, so obviously we did fluffs last time, and it being autumn, what else could we make but fun guys? Fun guys, see what we did there. <laughs> and this, <laughs> I hate getting things off the set. This is what we're going to be making. We are going to be making fun guys. And there'll be a, a pattern and a PDF and stuff that you can download. Um, we've had a fun guy fatality. Unfortunately, this one's got to be repotted. <laughs> fatality. <laughs> oh, there goes my circle. He's uh, he's he's busting. He's had too he's had too much fudge. Look, he's busting out of his pot. Um, but we will be making fun guys, and um. It's it's going to be fun. It is going to be a laugh. We will obviously um, make sure that you guys have all of the material list. There's no kit. There's no kit. We're not selling a kit. Um, we will give you a list of materials. Obviously, we'll tell you which of our colours we've been using. But it's absolutely something that you can make with your own stash. Um, and it is just going to be such a fun fun make so don't forget that's the original needle felt in uk autumn festival and you will need to go and join that group we will not be we will not be broadcasting live across our facebook or our youtube um so you will need to be a member of the group um also 
<laughs> it's our Halloween party. And I must admit, one that the Pixies uh, do particularly love. Um, they do like the Halloween party. And we have a very special theme this year. So um, it's the 2nd of October. 3 p.m. UK time again. Uh, there will be a party bag available and that again will go live. All of the new products will go live at the end of the second show. Uh, I think that's it. I can go back to making my thing now. So once you've got something that resembles a strawberry... <laughs> If you do have any lines or folds or anything else, you can just, once you've got the basic shape, you can just draft off a little bit more fluff, wrap it round, and then felt it down so it's all nice and smooth. Obviously, I am pushed for time. I've got this, I seem to have ended up with a little bit to hold on to, so. I'm also still using my 36 star, which is a beast of a needle very aggressive felting with our fibers super fast there now obviously if you are using a an acorn cap um then you're going to want to size this um to fit your cap so you may have to adjust the weights and adjust the quantities um, I'm obviously doing a bit more stabbing around this so we get that nice sort of tapered. And I just think that these acorns look lovely, um, you know, just in a little dish or a little bowl or something. So there's my acorn, there's my cap. I'm just going to take that off because I don't need it. <laughs> and then I'm going to put my cap on my acorn. I'm going to hold it and just to start with, I'm just going to attach it and then I'm going to go round my quarters and just pin, pin on the edge and I'm just catching the edge. Just go round, pin it in a few places and then just go right round that edge and that will attach it to your acorn body. My acorn body needs to be a little bit smaller but you'll get the idea. Just shape it up. We will be putting up show and share uh, posts in the Facebook group. Um, so if you, ha if you are making some acorns, um, do come and post your, your finished picture under that thread. Um, it's useful for me if you pop it under the thread because then they're all in, in one place um, and I can see them and and swoon over how lovely yours looks compared to mine. <laughs> so the last thing that I'm going to do, once we've got... Hang on, let me just squish it. Maybe that'll work. Oh, there you go. That's a little better. Here, I just I squished it. Squish and stab. It's the new swish and flick. <laughs> there we go. So once you've got something that vaguely resembles an acorn, <laughs> this is, uh, it really is just a pinch. I can't wait and wait to measures it because it is uh, really so thin. But I'm just going to give yourself a little bit of a fluff and a little bit of a twiddle. I'm going to stab a little bit, just make that a little bit thicker like so, a little bit of a stab, a little bit of a roll. Keep that end fluffy. There. And then that, just attach. When you do this, spread out your, your fluffy end so that you've got it, um, in all directions like that then put it on i realize that this is sort of dark brown on dark brown a few light stabs all the way around just to get it started and then again drive in 
and add in all of that fluff, just really kind of connecting. Like so, give it a bit more of a twiddle. And then just go around and tidy it up with a, a fine needle, fine finishing needle. And there, there's your one of many little acorns. They're just such a cute, fun little make. And, you know, you could make some smaller ones, put them on jewellery. Um, you can have a, a bunch of them in a bowl. Um, there's just so, so many things that you can do with, with a bunch of acorns, really. Let me pop that under there a minute. So, doing the tidying bit. Let's see, what else have I got under here? <laughs> I have it all laid out, and then the minute the show starts, it just goes everywhere. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, speaking of the, the lady moth, um, there is still time. I don't have a screen for her, um, but there is still time to enter her giveaway. If you go over to our uh, Facebook page, is it? Yeah. They'll put the links in chat for you. Um, and it's a great giveaway. It is uh, the opportunity to win a place on one of the one day courses that the Lady Moth holds. And she's got some really exciting new projects coming as well. So um, watch out for that. Um, one other thing that I do want to very quickly mention. Um, dun, dun, dun. I've been hinting at it for... Uh, I think, what, about six weeks now? <laughs> yeah, I think it's about, about six weeks. Um, Fluff Club. Fluff Club is uh, something that is coming. Um, and it's coming in 2022. Um, it's going to be launched um, for our, our birthday, effectively, which is January the 1st. And Fluff Club will go live on January the 1st. It's all completely official now. <laughs> We've gone past the point of no return. <laughs> We're committed, or we should be. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which. But um, Fluff Club is something that is going to be a, a little bit different. Um, it's part subscription, part membership. Um, there is a box, um, and it's going to be quarterly. Um, we feel that that um, it that kind of fits quite nicely, but there is also going to be a members area, and um, it just there's going to be lots of fun goodies for you, and um, a little access to PDFs, and there's going to be a lot that's going to be involved um, for a membership, and it's something that we are going to pilot. Um, it's never been done before. We have no idea. I would say we have no idea what we're doing. We usually don't. <laughs> But um, it is something that we are going to try for um, 2022 and then we're going to see how it goes. Um, the box, as I said, there is a box that is issued quarterly and um, I'm not going to tell you what the theme for the first box is. Um, it's been, we, we decided on it a while ago and it's really just come together um, probably about a month or two ago, it, it really, um, like I said, we, we got to the point of no return. It was like, we, I think, think we can do it now. So I'm very, very excited to bring this to you. Um, like I said, it's going to be something a little bit different and we're going to look for feedback from you guys um, with, uh, you know, what we're doing and how we can always make it better uh, for everybody involved. Now, saying that, um, the current level of everything that we do for people who are not members or who don't want a membership will not change. There, there will still be the events, there will still be the giveaways. We're not taking anything uh, that we currently do. Um, we are just doing this members thing as an extra. And like I said, we're going to see how it goes. It, I think it's going to be great, but it <laughs> who knows? No, no. Apparently, the first... So who suggested that? Melissa. Melissa. Come here. No. Apparently, according to Melissa, who is on Facebook or YouTube? Facebook. She's over on Facebook. Has suggested 
that initiation into Fluff Club <laughs> should involve glue and glitter. That's me out. <laughs> That's it, I don't get into my own club. <laughs> it sounds about right. But yeah, so um, I do want to make sure that everybody does understand that, um, you know, Fluff Club isn't taking anything away um, that, we, that we do already. We are still going to be as crazy as ever. We are still going to do the events, the parties and the projects. So um, I do hope that you will uh, stick around for uh, more and more info. It will be coming uh, over the course of the next few months. But as I said, uh, 1st of January 2022. <laughs> do you know what now? Yes, the, um, the price. <laughs> She's really put me on the spot now because I've gone, uh. Okay, so what we're going to do is because we're piloting it for a year, um, the price is going to be twenty. Four ninety nine, and that's for the box and the box comes with three months membership <laughs> I've worked this all out I promise it works so um, I'm not going to give too many details um, right now because it will get too confusing and I don't want it caught up in the rest of everything else that we're doing but it's going to be $24.99 uh, for the box and the box gives you three months membership there will also be a monthly membership um, which we're going to pilot at £7.50 a month and there's the different things and it'll all be it'll all be laid out and explained in due course but it's I'm really excited for it because I think it's going to be quite fun um, and we've got a, a lot of ideas for it. So, am I done? Can I have my cake now? <laughs> have I been good? Can I have a sticker? No? Are you not doing a sticker with a note on the bottom? No, mate, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> She's not blessed her. Ever si Are you sure they didn't work on your head and not your back? <laughs> No, um, okay, well, it, as Pixie B has, has sort of mentioned, we usually do draws for the Pixie giveaways, but now we've got this new system. I'm going to talk to her now. Now we've got this new system, it does it, because the Pixies were getting banned on Facebook for spamming because they were, um, basically, they were getting banned on Facebook for spamming because they were numbering all of the entries and it was getting into the hundreds. <laughs> And poor Haley got banned on Facebook and YouTube at one point. <laughs> you can just see, like, in social media HQ, there's the pictures of the pixies of Most Wanted. <laughs> so, um, I do believe, I think, that that is it for now. Don't forget that there are, as I said, there are the pixie giveaways over in uh, the Facebook group. Um, I will very quickly just run through the lineup of new products that we've got for you. Now, remember that they all go live after the second show. So it will be once the 3 p.m. show concludes, everything will go live on the website. So we've got that beautiful northern red oak leaf set. Uh, absolutely amazing. And again, there will be PDFs for a lot of these things so that you guys can make them uh, straight away. We've got the large fern leaf. And of course, that lovely tree stump set. I always think the tree stump, the root shape, it looks like a starfish hailing a taxi. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't forget that we do have that beautiful limited edition blaze blend. And of course, the pixie shimmers, those autumn splendor. Um, and those are... Um, once they are gone, they are gone. We've got quite a lot. Don't worry. Um but they, they are limited, um, limited sort of stock, uh, limited edition. So uh, don't forget that there will be also a PDF coming for how to make those beautiful damsons. I will get a video out at some point of how to make the gluey string ball, but there are lots of references on YouTube. <laughs> but you've got the balloon, you've got the string, you've got the glue, um, and also you've got the string lights in your um, accessories pack as well. So, is that it? Have you ticked everything off of your list, Pissy? <laughs> Brilliant. 
Okay, well, I think um, I will get some show and share pictures up in group a little bit later on. Uh, Pixie Haley will sort that out for me. Um, it was a lovely, quick little make for the acorn. I like to do these little freehand makes so that anybody who doesn't have an event kit or has just joined us for the first time can just grab their stuff and just make something along with us. So I will give you a little uh, sneaky... Oops. I will give you a little sneaky peek. Hang on, my, my, um, my microphone pack fell off. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Sneaky peek at part two. Oh, good, goodness me, come on. There we go. <laughs> kit number two. <laughs> and this is kit number two. So if you have the kit, there is a template in here. So for, for the second show... Um, it is a templated make, so you will need the kit uh, in order to join in the make. Um, however, you can still watch and make along with, with anything you like. So that's it from me for now uh, for part one of our autumn fair. Uh, we will be back at 3 p.m. UK time for part two. So for now, for me and Pixie B, have yourself a very crafty break. Thank you.